welcome and today we are going to see how resumes for mbas could be and again the 2020 approach how it is the most concurrent resume for the most updated job aspirant coming by none other than the skill influencer manish nair okay uh, as i've been t- telling you that resume is a professional profile so you need to keep it uh, the great look and feel of it so very appealing and pleasing because your resume is representing you in your absentia so it has to be appealing so look and feel the look and feel should be as compared to as you go to the restaurant and maybe you know look at the menu card and that the look itself uh, you know gives you the feel that this i would be the correct menu to ask for or correct cuisine to order for you call the waiter and then you know inquire about it and that leads to your some satisfaction and imagination which actually makes you to decide that you would go and order that particular food so look and feel can be correlated to that look and feel the second point is it should not exceed more than two pages definitely not two pages right the third is uh, resumes or professional profile is there to impress and not to express so do not be exhaustive write all the bullet points of course with no full stops and include all relevant professional details so uh, let's march ahead and see how the header of the resume looks like the header is where you have akshat gupta coming on the left hand side and the photo on the right hand side and they can be changed so akshat gupta going on the right and photo coming on the left hand side right if you have an address normally the permanent address should also feature in up front so that uh, the uh, hr has a great look into it and he can very well identify which place you belong from and if you have the address again tab separate your email id and contact uh, number uh, if possibly do not make uh, give more than one contact number and the email should not have that sonu dear cool i love you kind of a stuff right please avoid that and the second is professional statement every one needs to evolve with one good statement career objective what it is called otherwise it should not be more than one to two meaningful sentence and what could be there so i have i've uh, framed a, a career objective especially for the mbas so here i am going with a statement i am a trained fresher with an exposure to human resource willing to join a growing organization and exhibit my full potential so here it is for human resource and the second i have done it for finance aspiring to make a mark in the field of finance where my learning are translated into performance and ensure mutual growth so two statement for two different mba stream next is academic credentials how they can be done start with the present qualification put an aggregate percentile of whichever year that you are if the second year you are pursuing let's say and the first year's aggregate is there mention that followed by your graduation because mba will be followed by graduation followed by hssc followed by ssc and there is a template for you all to refer how this can be formatted in a tabular form for your reference next is technical qualification so whatever skill, uh, you know qualification you have let's say mbas have major and minor right so major subject should come first and minor should come second of course every uh, office corporate office needs every candidate to be uh you know computer literate so i think you should essentially be aware and know and master maybe ms office word excel and ppt to a greater extent so technical qualification technical skills so let's see what technical skills uh, are basically for the mba resource management yeah the resource can be man it can be raw material it can be process it can be infrastructure any resource for that matter how good is the understanding of an mba student time management finance management money is all very important right inflow should be understood and outflow should be equally understood training whether training is understood by the hr uh, who's uh, the hr uh, uh, aspirant in the mba stream uh, formulating are you able to formulate certain uh, you know rules regulations terms sops kind of stuff Uh, whether you can strategize if especially into marketing you know strategy making so these are the few thing that you should actually look at technical skills let me go and further deal with the 
individual uh, streams of mba and what comes to my mind is finance first of all so here are top finance must haves that will put you in prime position for promising career in the finance and what could be they a formal accounting qualification is needed so you should have an hands on experience for particular accounting accounting one key word there interpersonal skills as you would uh, be you know associated with diagonal and maybe cross communication you will be talking to several departments so you should be good at interpersonal skills ability to communicate you need to express yourself as you are an accountant or you are a finance you know a professional so uh, at times you need to communicate to make people understand and understand equally from them as well financial reporting so you need to prepare report as well analytical ability analyze the data actually data accumulation assimilation and filtering everything comes there as analysis knowledge of it software any or software that you are using today we are in a time where there are n number of software developed for finances so i think you need to be, you know be aware of it if not then you should be a smart and fast learner management experience in case if you have several internship going your way any work experience that you can show and maybe pull it off as management experience called as commercial acumen you need to understand what is the commerce what is business and what is commercial means the money and how to actually control and regulate money so that your profitability is optimum i think finance these many skills are required let me take a jump and show you what human resource possibly uh, skill sets would would you know uh, one human resource job aspirant should possess employee relationship how uh, employee relationship can be developed how it is if they can you know uh, foresee forecast have lot of trainings you know build a good camaraderie help each others you know build that kind of a spirit that is what employee relationship is all about onboarding recruitment human resource information software so again it is talking about one of the software performance management every employee in the in a in the organization has to have uh, his contribution and the contribution has to come substantially and it has to come every year so uh, very regular monitoring of performance that is what is called as performance management team work and collaboration of course sometimes you need to work with a specific op, uh, you know department and sometimes with the whole organization so team work and collaborations are needed all the time scheduling scheduling of uh, regulations Uh, scheduling of sops scheduling of training scheduling of altered rules or maybe you know anything that new has to be incorporated i think that is what it is scheduling customer service yes customer service again this is one uh, which decides the company's health and prosperity so this needs to be understood at the same time project management many projects are undertaken the hr is a quint essential person one key person who actually takes a look and has a close monitoring to entire project so that is what human resource as key key skill for uh, you know job aspirants the uh, last is marketing right marketing is what skills are a, a marketing employer seek at this point of time is uh, is interpersonal skills so again interpersonal skills uh, is featuring here good oral and written communication what are the form of communication that you do you are a marketer so you need to be equally adaptive with both written form and verbal form of communication numeracy and analytical ability analytical ability i think we have talked in the hr section and finance section but numeracy is to do with maths you need to be strong at mathematics mathematics so that uh, the sales the marketing the figures the bottom line everything is understood creativity and imagination yes every marketer needs to go out of the box and be specific to a territory one single rule does not apply to all you know uh, all the territory so you need to get very specific to what punjab wants what kerala wants what kolkata wants one what mumbai wants so that's where the creativity and imagination is is exercise influencing and negotiation skills two very very important if you are not able to influence yourself you are not able to market yourself negotiation skills to bring about the value of the organization that you bring that you work for and to bring about the your own worth and value so that you and your services or the product become highly marketable 
टीम वर्क दैट्स द बॉटम लाइन यू आर अलोन नॉट गोइंग टू सर्वाइव इट इज ऑलवेज बी मार्केटर और अ सेल्स मैन इज ऑलवेज अमंग द हेल्म ऑफ पीपल एंड दैट इज वेयर हिज इंटरपर्सनल स्किल शुड बी ऑल्सो हाईलाइटेड मोर टीम प्लेयर टीम वर्क ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एबिलिटी हाउ बेटर वन कैन ऑर्गेनाइज एंड एग्जीक्यूट सो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एबिलिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्लानिंग एंड एग्जीक्यूटिंग दैट इज असेंशियल आई टी स्किल्स एज आई मैंशन विद फाइनेंस एंड एच आर कंप्यूटर लिटरेसी इज रिक्वायर्ड यर एज वेल ओके सो आई आई बीन एक्सप्लेनिंग टू यू अबाउट द एम बी ए सो फार इंटर्नशिप इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो यूज बुलेट पॉइंट्स यू मैंशन योर टेक अवे वॉट एवर इंटर्नशिप दैट यू हैव डन uh give hr the believability that you have learned so many things so maybe if you can explain it to one two three points put it in bullet and mention their skill sets you might have honed skill sets for example team player that is one of the skill uh, skill sets as in the marketing so team work maybe you can put it there interpersonal skills put it there analytical skills put it there so that's how internship what you have learned you should be writing it there projects bring it very very precisely that you have an objective for the project you started with the objective and you continued with the process what is the process that you have undertaken and what was the conclusion drawn i have just provided you one template over here below the project slide so that you all can gaze and take a clue from moving on uh, you must have definitely participated right from your schooling to hsc to your graduation to mba lot of events lot of role plays lot of participation so if you have participated write down the event in the bullet your role what role you have performed and the team size that you have worked with and the certificate or citation or appreciation if you have gathered doing this participation should be mentioned next is the personal detail where your date of birth comes your name comes and your father or mother name whichever is in the fashion please you can put it on and if the permanent address is already mentioned then you don't need to in case if not then please write it in a personal detail column signature is the last thing so date is tab tab separated with the signature uh, below where you you see that place is tab separated with the name this is the correct form so take a clue now i repeat that every resume is a standard document but it differs because the job description differs so at times mbas will have business development marketing uh, finance accounting hr or licensing or pr or sales whatever is that you are applying for there are different job description uh, do a little survey and align maybe customize your pro, you know job profile uh, looking at the job profile customize your resume accordingly i have ensured that there is one template for your reference so please go through it that is it from my side thank you so much for being a patient listener right and if you have any question please drop in your mba student especially this was meant for you thank you so much best wishes all